Over the years on 100 Huntley Street, some of the visitors to this set have become dear friends to me. Patty Foster is one of them. On June 18, 2002, her world changed forever when she was in a horrific highway accident. Initially, she had no pulse. After six weeks in a coma, Patty was left with a severe traumatic brain injury. Her arduous journey of recovery has had some sweet surprises, like her new best friend, Dr. Dina Adams, a licensed professional counselor and founder and president of Hope After Brain Injury. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Wonderful Thank you for having us. It's so special to be together. And yes. Dina, you knew Patty before the accident. Yes. But Patty's changed life. Mm. changed your life. Absolutely, absolutely. Patty interviewed me years ago when I was a first responder at Oklahoma City bombing. and For radio. For radio. And it was wonderful just to meet her then, but then we learned about her wreck and we met afterwards and she talked about traumatic brain injury and her s struggles and it inspired me to change the direction of my life. Actually, God did that, right? Mm. And he and I started a Hope After Brain Injury through the inspiration of Miss Patty Foster. And this is your vice president. She is our right. VP, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and absolutely. you wild women are traveling the globe. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? You were in Holland last year. Yes. And invitations now for Albania. Kosovo? Kosovo, Albania. Albania, helping Albania. the healthcare professionals, survivors, mm. caregivers. Mm. This is a huge conversation and growing, mm -hmm. it seems, because concussion is on the brain injury spectrum. Uh, I, my radio producer uh, is a former professional wrestler. Oh, yeah. uh, he had several concussions without uh, perceptible symptoms, and then there three you. solid months of nausea, dizziness, inability to focus, and so guess what, no more wrestling. Mm. But this, we're talking mm. about this because we're learning so much about the impact on the brain. Yeah. Yes. It's growing more and more people are begin, becoming aware of it mm -hmm. and they're wanting to do something about it, to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. But there are so many that continue not to acknowledge it. In fact, when we were in Holland last year, I was talking with Dr. Andrew Moss, mm -hmm. one of the leading neurosurgeons and neuro researchers in the entire world. In fact, the International Brain Injury Association gave him the Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm -hmm. Dr. Moss and I were talking after one of the sessions. I said, Dr. Moss, if you could describe hope after a brain injury in one word, what would you say? And he intellectually looked away and thought, and then he looked at me and said, breath, as essential as breath. Mm -hmm. That's how vital hope is after a brain injury. Mm -hmm. Patty, I didn't even look up what year you first came to this program, but we've known each other a long time. What I didn't know is that it was five full years before you had any memory of who you were yeah. mm -hmm. before the accident. Yes. And what happened at the 10 year mark? Mm. More of an acceptance or comfortableness, you might say, of this new patty after brain injury had taken over and become center stage, but more comfortable with the way the father was chiseling the character of Patty Foster to be his girl in this new field that I had never known. Dina, I'm surprised they let you leave Texas with the impact of Harvey. Yeah, uh, still 50,000 people in wow. FEMA hotels by mid-November um, and of course, violence and the mm. shooting and it just they they need you you'll probably yes ma'am be drawn in mm -hmm. can you bring the hope of the one who is hope into your counseling Absolutely. I mean, how do you restore hope without god mm. 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 you know hope is an eternal truth that we all have and it's through jesus christ mm -hmm. and so it's a beautiful thing to be able to offer to somebody you know what things seem bad seems bad, but the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ is here to help you. You have an eternal helper. And just like I tell brain injury survivors who their life has changed, and I say, I want you to know that you're twice as smart as the rest of us because you had to learn how to live. You had your injury, then you had to, how to learn how to live again. So you are this world's best 
resource for how to live well. The wisdom that we can gain from survivors such as Patty is amazing. And so I, I just am so inspired by them and I do my best to offer them hope. I always say to people, I said, if you don't have hope, you borrow some of mine. Because <laughs> mine never goes out because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, clearly hope is our theme. Uh, coping with traumatic brain injury, one woman's journey from death to life. Uh, Patty is now um, audio, not just the book. But you have a brand new devotional. And I think this is different uh, from the usual approach yes. because you're acknowledging what you know. Yes. Traumatic brain injury survivors yes. need, yes. can absorb, can cope sure. with. Hope for the journey, a 52-week spiritual journal. Yeah. Tell us how this is different. Mm. It's different in the sense that I wrote it more on the basis of brain injury instead of a daily change of devotional, mm -hmm. which is very demanding on the brain, especially when it's been damaged and to understand, to comprehend. So I made it user-friendly for anyone experiencing brain injury and then with the presence of so much stimuli in this day and age of life, I simply did one devotional for one week. And then I took a devotional of a, a nice challenging question for day one, two, three, four, and five. And you space have to, to write your answer, off. your yes. response. You yes. say, as you pick up this book, a guest is calmly waiting for you on each Amen. page. Amen. And many people don't know Jesus. Many people don't have a personal relationship with the Father through Christ. However, comma, He is present. How He goes before. How He draws people. How He speaks their attention. Where they are at that moment. As some listeners may be watching for the very first time. Mm -hmm. But how the Father is moving. Mm -hmm. How the Father is weaving. So that they can savor that moment and experience truth. Dina, you're working with the families. Yes. And we were with a family yes. while you have been here. And clearly, mm. this is another whole area of mm. need. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do the families who've nearly lost a loved one, mm. in many cases, mm. uh, need to get through and, and going forward? Yeah. Uh, honestly, Moira, they need someone that understands the what they're going through and the losses, the grieving of somebody that looks the same and yet there's part of their personality so different. I had one uh, family member say to me, you know, I can't blame my husband for what happened to him because it was not his fault. But I, but I nurture the differences between who he was and who he is. And I don't make him live in the shadow of somebody he's not. And I think that that is a beautiful way just to express, you know what, you're going through a very, very difficult time, but it's a high and holy calling. Wow. And God is putting you here for just such a time as this to bring your loved one to another area of healing. Mm -hmm. And I will follow you, I will journey with you, and I'm honored to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to burst a bubble because this woman just sparkles. She's a joy bubble all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's not a cakewalk. No. You still have to be very careful about things like swallowing. Yeah. Yeah. And just and energy and fatigue and yeah. all the, the blurred vision, even the right eye, since mm -hmm. it had been once out of my body and now it's Your back. eye. Yeah, completely out. Mm -hmm. Miracles do happen. Mm -hmm. But how it does require such purposeful, fortitude to take the next step. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. When you're at the end, ask God. Just mm -hmm. say, Jesus, mm -hmm. he will appear. Mm -hmm. Hope appears. Mm -hmm. Appears. I think I sent this quote to you. I thought of you from Augustine. In my deepest wound, I saw your glory wow. mm -hmm. and it astounded me. You're a glory package, girls. Take it to the world. Amen. And I hope it's been an encouragement to you. And hope for the journey, a 52-week spiritual journal, might be just the, the hands-on practical help where you are right now. Patty, thank you for writing it. And, and remember, our prayer lines are always available. Uh, these women are all about the greatest source of hope. Amen. His name is Jesus, and he's here for you. God bless you. Don't go away.